all these things been described by the Sahaba, his companion, may Allah be pleased with them all. He said, he would lay his left foot along the ground and sit on it, relaxed. And he ordered the one who prayed badly, thus saying to him, when you prostrate, prostrate firmly, then when you raise or rise, sit on your left thigh. Again, coming from sujood, Allahu Akbar, and while you're coming, now this foot shifting from standing to sitting. You lift the foot, you put it down, and you're going to sit on it. Now the right foot in a standing position while the toes to the Qibla. Again from sujood, coming up, Allahu Akbar. When you prostrate, prostrate firmly, then when you rise, sit on your left thigh. How to sit between the two prostrations, the two sajda? It is necessary for the person to take his time between the two sajda. Not to go to the second sajda, second prostration until he takes his time. And also there is dua, which is recommended to be sit. Sit between the two prostrations. As example, for the person to say, Allahumma or Rabbi Gfilli, Warhamni, Wajburni, Warfani, Wahdini, Wa'afini, Warzukni. You say Allahumma, or you say Rabbi, Gfilli, Warhamni, Wahdini, Warzukni. Or you may say Allahumma, Gfilli, Warhamni, Wajburni, Warfani. وأهدني وأهدني وعافني وارزقني. and also other version he said رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي. and sometimes رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم he used to sit in a different position coming from sujood like this. Toes facing the Qibla, feet standing, and you're sitting on it. Or you sit like this, both of them correct. And sometimes, while the Prophet وسلم, coming out of sujood, he used to raise his hand with the takbir, like this. Allahu Akbar Again in sujood sometimes he used to raise his hand Allahu Akbar or you can do it without raising hands Allahu Akbar sit take your time your eyes looking in the place of your prostration Say your dua, Rabbir Fili, Rabbir Fili, Rabbir Fili. Inward, not outward. Only for you yourself to hear it, to say it. Rabbir Fili, Rabbir Fili. Oh my Lord, forgive me, forgive me. Now we go to something which is known to some scholars, the sitting or the resting. Jalsat al-Istiraha. 
the sitting of rest. Next, he would sit straight on his left foot upright until every bone returned to its position. And after this, he will get up using his hands. Supporting for support. Go ahead. Supporting oneself with the hands on raising from the, uh, for the next rakah. Next, he sallallahu alaihi wasallam would get up for the second rakah, supporting himself on the ground. Also, he would clench his fist doing prayer, supporting himself with his hands when getting up. Okay. So now. After the second prostration, the Prophet ﷺ, before he go to the second rak'ah, he will come here and take a pose, resting for a moment, wait for every bone to go to its place, relax, mm. and after this he will get up to the second rak'ah using his fist again is the ground for support again he will and get up for you to go to the second rak'ah or to go from the third rak'ah to the fourth rak'ah. You will do the same again. Okay? Now, I'm in sujood. Allahu Akbar. You went to the second rak'ah. Again, I was in sujood, and I'm going to go to the second rak'ah. Allahu Akbar. Wait for a moment. Use your fist against the ground. Get up. Knees first. Hands up. Now on your chest. And this is the second rak'ah. And you will go again like he did in the first rak'ah. A'udhu billahi s-sami'i al-alim min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-deen. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد so this was the manner of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam getting from the first rak'ah to the second rak'ah using his fist against the ground to get up. 